LLC and I'm the Director of Teaching and Learning here at ASD and I'm here this week with our elementary music team. And the reason I'm here is because uh, earlier this week I had a lovely email from Sanai who was emailing me to tell me about the experience that she had with her uh, learning, her professional learning this summer. So Sanai, would you like to tell us a little bit about what you did? Of course, I'd love to. So I went to international off course in San Francisco and to learn the off approach. It's a way of teaching music to children through movement, speech, rhythm, melody. It incorporates every aspect. And every morning we started the class singing and doing the movement. And there was very little time where we were sitting and being lectured. And that's exactly the way we teach music in elementary. We start by embodying the music and we sing, we move, we play instruments. And later when students are comfortable with making music, we talk about concept. Right, and that, that was what, the third time or the third level of mm -hmm. WARF that you've been doing? Right. Which is great because it certainly is a part of our program. Mm -hmm. And Britta, you, do you want to tell mm -hmm. us what you did this summer? Sure. I completed my master's degree in music education this summer. It was kind of like Sinai, a um, course that was three years. Mine was also three summers. And each summer had different courses um, depending on the courses available elementary, early elementary courses or upper elementary and we learned about ORF and Kudai, another very big approach for music education and lots of new ideas of how to get children engaged in the classroom. Great, I'm glad you did that. But the best thing is then they came back and Claudette and Laurie were um, back here in Doha and let's hear what you did last Tuesday. Well, last Tuesday we sat and just shared and packed some of the learning that the girls came back with. One of the things from Britta's learning that stuck with me a lot had to do with transitions and finding ways to thread a common theme throughout a 30 or 40 minute lesson. Mm -hmm. And the goal, of course, is to try to make it as seamless as possible so that the students, you know, are focused on that one theme throughout the whole thing. And the, and the learning and their attention is, is, is greatly improved. Great. And Claudette? Uh, similarly, I, I was um, really delighted to have both of the ladies share with us last Tuesday. Um, it just, it's wonderful that we can collaborate the way we do, so that if one or two people um, get some professional development over the summer, then we all can benefit from it. And in fact, I've already used some of the strategies uh, that they shared with us and some of the songs as well. So it's been wonderful. So thank you, and thank you for sharing, and um, that's exactly the sort of things that we do on Tuesday afternoon when you wonder what we're doing. We have a lot of collaboration across teams and a lot of sharing. So thank you very much for all you do, ladies. Thank, thank you. you.